signing of Sage Bronner to Cumberland University for football. Sage, you've had lots of experience in multiple different positions over your time here at MJ. How do you think being such a diverse player has helped you to grow as a team player? Uh, I think my sophomore year when they switched me from tight end to tackle, uh, it humbled me a little bit and made me see just blocking and the offensive line in a new light and uh, just made me get a good idea of just the whole line in general. And what's been your favorite memory playing football here over the last four years? Uh, probably my senior year when we played Riverdale and uh, Coach T wasn't able to participate in that game. and. We, uh, we beat them pretty good, and then uh, I was running back to the locker room, and I saw Coach T running up the parking lot, and so that was a pretty special moment for me. And then for the parents, uh, what was your reaction when you first heard that Sage got his offer from coming? Uh, we were excited. It was a school we were targeting, and we know that he would, a school that he would really had some interest in, and it's close by, so uh, we'll get to see him a little more often. And for the coach, what's something that Sage will have an impact on when he starts playing in college? First of all, thanks for finishing that story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, secondly, I, you sort of mentioned it before, I mean, he's versatile. Uh, when you look at the Super Bowl that just got played, you look at uh, Kittle and Kelsey, uh, two of the tight ends that were there. And, and one thing that stands out about both of them is that they're so versatile. They can put them in the ace position. You know, they can put them. But with the hand in the grass, they can move him out in the slot, and he's the kind of guy that can do that. He's another guy that uh, in the summer had an injury, didn't complain about it, played through it. And, uh, you know, we've talked about this a lot, but understanding your role on the team, I think Sage did a great job of that throughout. He was humble, selfless, and, uh, you know, everything that embodies our program. So I'm proud of him, excited for him today. Ms. Randy, would you like to say a few words? Of course. Um, I think one of the things that uh, makes Sage stand out as an athlete and a senior here at Mount Juliet High School is the number of younger players, students that actually look up to him. Um, I, even younger kids. Um, we, have, we have middle school kids and elementary kids that when they see Sage walk by, they all want to talk to him and they want to know who he is because they watch him and they watch him do his job in and out every single game, every single practice. And, um, that, that, to me, speaks volumes about his character. Um, he is somebody that I, I want my children to look up to. And I think um, the fact that he's going to stay here at Cumberland and he's going to be close so we get to stay closer to his career is something that we're all excited about. Um, he's just a phenomenal person, and uh, Mom and Dad have done such an awesome job with him. So congratulations, Sage. We're glad you're going to be close. Um, I can't wait to see him play in um, on Saturdays instead of Fridays. It's going to be a great four years for him. We can't wait to see how he does. Hey, you ready to sign? Yes. Go ahead.